I'm Andrew Zimmern. You wanna learn how to process a chicken using a scissors and a sharp knife? Roasted Chicken Carving 101. Give me five minutes, I'm gonna make you a master. All right, well, I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite thing to do with cutlery. It's my favorite dish to cook, and that is roasted chicken with root vegetables in the bottom of the pan, and then I make a gravy with the fond that's left at the bottom. The first thing you do is let the chicken rest. I take all of the juices that I can. I'm always tipping them out. You can see I stuff the cavity with lemon slices and fresh thyme. I'm going to use any of that on my board to season the dish. And then I start cutting this and I use a scissors. I make a cut, two of them, in between the breast and the leg and thigh. And then I come across at a 45 degree angle and the legs come right off. Go straight across and you will go right through the knuckle meat. Next thing is cut off my wings. Some people love to gnaw on those. I'm one of them. Next thing that I wanna do is make a cut down through the top of my breastbone. Now, my knife isn't gonna go right through this, it's gonna fall to one side. And so I look here and I feel that the bone is separating from my breast meat. I will take a smaller knife and just feather it against the edge here, come down right through the center. And I have the whole breast that I can put there because if I'm roasting a couple of chickens for eight, nine people for a Friday night dinner, some people just want a whole breast. Sometimes I will just simply cut them in half. Some people may want a leg and half a breast. Then, because I can see my keel bone, I just come down on the other side of it and curve in, again, using the same technique, just in reverse. I'm just gonna take the breast right off. Now, one thing that you can do is you can take out a precision slicer like this one and just cut. Let's say you wanted to give everyone slices with a perfect quarter inch ribbon of skin on the top of it. You can go as thin as you want. You can see that that white meat is moist and tender while the dark meat you will see is nicely cooked. Now, what do I do with the meat that's around the wishbone. I just put that in the middle. I tend to take any trim that I find that's edible and just put it down there. Take a piece of skin from the neck and put it on top. Take the Pope's nose off, put that in the middle as well. Some people like that. Next thing that I do is I grab the thighs and I just pull. And the reason that I do that is that I'm able to separate the thighs the most elegant way possible. And then all I do is lift away this piece of backbone. Because of the way that I've taken this off, I have one bone right here running through that piece of meat. And just use your fingers, pinch it, pull the bone right out and you can lay that down there with the crispy skin on top. I just crack this off and I do the same thing with this thigh except I'm not gonna take the bone out for you and just lift it away, holding on to the oyster. This makes a stunning portion on the plate and maybe I just stack that there. Then I grab the thyme that was sticking out of the end of that, just sprinkle that on there. It is delicious, roasted thyme. Absolutely fantastic to eat. Roasted veg, seasoned with salt, caramelized in chicken fat, comes right out of here. That's just perfect. That is the secret to my roast chicken, vegetables that are in the market. Thank you for joining us. Now you've learned how to master carving a chicken. I'm very proud of you, congratulations. Mm -hmm.